How's it going guys? My name is Marshmallow and welcome to Glitchcraft. Now today I'm going to talk to you guys about the Easter egg on World War II zombies. So recently there have been a lot of hype about the Easter egg being solved and even just part of the Easter egg being solved and I was like really bummed about it because because people have been given these early copies and I was like man I want to try it. I want to have my chance at solving the Easter egg too and I was really bummed. But I recently found out that on October 31st, Michael Condry, who is one of the lead designers for Sled Sledgehammer, tweeted a Happy Halloween tweet to which a person told him that his Easter egg was solved and then someone else said, like, no, it's just part of the Easter egg. But here's the thing that I found out really interesting. Condry said that in response to this, he implies that finding the artifact, which everyone thought was part of the Easter egg, isn't even an Easter egg at all. So it's possible that the Easter egg won't be solved until after the game is released on November 3rd. Which is pretty cool for us average folk, because they still get a chance to solve the Easter egg and get the full experience. Now, what has been solved, what everyone thought was part of the Easter egg, what has been solved, Sledgehammer has said that it's part of a casual path and that's for more casual game zombies gamers so that they can still get the experience and parts of the maps without having to be like hardcore gamers you know like and that was mentioned in an interview with Cameron Dayton and John Horsley which I'm going to show you right now so before we wrap up here what's a surprising or unexpected tip that you might uh, recommend to a player who's getting ready to play Call of Duty World War II Nazi Zombies. Yeah. The hint system is not speak to these dregs. Don't get fooled and thinking you beat the game when in fact you just oh. getting started. Oh yeah, no, we've got we've got we've got some hardcore focused test groups that have still not uncovered some of the mysteries you've got there. And uh, we had one group great, we had one like, group tell us they finished it and we're like, no, you you actually yeah. did nothing. And yeah. they're like, No, it's the best news ever to hear yeah. this hardcore group of players say, Oh, we finished this, it's actually not that hard. We're like, Yes. Yeah. <laughs> The hint system exists solely for the casual path to get, you know, the players who want to get in and explore and see what the game's all about. But there is this deeper, darker level. It is wicked hard. Guys, uh... All right, so that was just like a little snippet from the interview with Dayton Horsley. That's just the bit that I thought was the most interesting out of the whole thing. I'll leave a link in the description to the full interview if you guys want to watch it. Now, from what I got from this interview was that the Easter egg is actually much harder than we anticipated and it's not even close to being solved. Now, there is a way that we can track the progress of the Easter egg through PSN profiles, which I will leave a link to in the description. And on this site, you can look at the progress of the trophies and see how close people actually are to solving the main Easter egg, which is to save Klaus, who is Marie's brother. All right, guys, that's my update on what's going on with the Easter egg situation. If you like what you see, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Comment on what you think the Easter egg situation is, if whether you think it's going to be solved before or after the game comes out. And I'll see you all in the next video.